Can we learn a lesson from a wanton calf? Or from two cocks fighting over a farmyard? Well, hi there, Reader Adventure, <laughs> and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're reading more stories from Aesop's Fables. We'll hear about a wanton calf, two fighting cocks, a lion, a tiger, and a fox, and a peacock's complaint. Let's get started. The Wanton Calf A calf, full of play and wantonness, seeing an ox at the plow, could not forbear insulting him. What a sorry old drudge you are, said he, to bear that heavy yoke upon your neck and with a plow at your tail all day to go turning up the ground for a master. <laughs> you are a wretched slave and know no better or you would not do it. See what a happy life I lead? <laughs> I just go where I please. Sometimes into the cool shade, sometimes into the warm sunshine, and whenever I like, I drink at the clear running brook. <laughs> The ox, not at all moved by this address, went on quietly and calmly with his work. And in the evening, when he unyoked and was going to take his rest, he saw the calf being led off by the butcher. <gasps> he pitied him, but could not help saying as he passed, Now, friend, whose condition is the better, yours or mine? The lesson, youth and folly often live together. The Fighting Cocks. Two cocks fought for the sovereignty of the farmyard. One was severely beaten and ran and hid himself into a hole. The conqueror flew to the top of an outhouse. There clapped his wings and crowed out, just then, an eagle made a swoop, seized him, and carried him off. The other, seeing this from his hiding place, came out, shaking off the recollection of his late disgrace, strutted among his hens with all the dignity imaginable. <laughs> the lesson, bear success with moderation. The lion, the tiger, and the fox. A lion and a tiger happened to come together over the dead body of a fawn that had been recently shot. A fierce battle ensued, and as each animal was in the prime of his age and strength, the combat was long and furious. At last they lay <sighs> stretched out on the ground, panting, <sighs> bleeding and exhausted, each unable to even lift a paw against the other. An impudent fox coming by at the time stepped in and <gasps> carried off before their very eyes the prey on account of which they had both fought so savagely. Whoa, Betitus, said the lion, that we should suffer to serve such a fox. <laughs> the lesson. It often happens that one has the toil and another the profit. The peacock's complaint. The peacock complained to Juno that while everyone laughed at his voice, an insignificant creature like the nightingale had a note that delighted all listeners. Juno, angry at the unreasonableness of her favorite bird, scolded him in the following terms. Envious bird that you are, I am sure that you have no cause to complain. On your neck shine all the colors of the rainbow and your extended tail gleams like a mass of gems. 
No living being has every good thing to its own share. The falcon is endowed with swiftness, the eagle, strength, the parrot, speech, and the raven, the gift of augury, and the nightingale, a melodious note. You have both size and beauty. Cease then to complain, or the gifts you have shall be taken away. The lesson, contentment, should be the source of every joy. Wow, what a silly peacock. I do feel bad for that little calf though. For more Aesop's Fables, check out these other videos. Thank you for being a reader adventurer. And until our next video, happy story time. Bye.